evening, this is a reading from Luke 23, 44 to 47. It was now about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. While the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two, then Jesus cried out with a loud voice and said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. He was special. That's all I can say. And it's not like me to hand out compliments. Ask anyone, I've seen all kinds. The real dregs of society. I've seen murderers, rapists, bandits, muggers. You name it, and I've watched them all suffering without a shred of conscience. Good riddance to them. That's what I say, the way I looked at it. Felt the same with this one too. At first, lasted troublemaker, should have thought more carefully, shouldn't he? Before he started raising expectations, stirring up the crowd, but when I watched him, all that changed. You couldn't help but be impressed. There was something about him, so quiet dignity, complete composure. I'll tell you the sheer courage of the man. Nothing could shake him. Not the mocking, the spitting, the lying, the jeering, the flogging, the interrogation, not even the thorns twisted so cruelly into his head. And when it came to the end, as he staggered under the cross, just about all in, as the blood spurted from those hands and feet, as the life seeped from his broken body, still the same. He actually had time for others, more than for himself. It was time for one of the two wretches hanging there beside him, and his mother, and his friends. Time for his people who stood to gloat. Time even for us. <laughs> Amazing. The son of God, some of them called him. And you know what? I think they might have just been right. He was special. No doubt about that. Our prayer. Loving God, we recall with gratitude the faithfulness of Jesus, his faithfulness to the last, his willingness to take the way of the cross, his courage in the face of opposition, suffering and death. Help us to respond, consecrating our lives to his service. Help us to be truly thankful for all he has done and continues to do. Help us to acknowledge him as our Lord and our Saviour and to live today as his disciples. In Jesus' name.